David Gross from the Bass Guitar Channel. Today, I'd like to start our exploration of the Mixolydian flat six mode in G. Now, what makes this different than the normal Mixolydian mode? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. I'm gonna show you. Here's a G Mixolydian in the key of C major. different is in major we have an E in mixolydian flat six of the C melodic minor boy is that a mouthful we have an E flat a flat six so I have a couple of ways of figuring this first way is G A B C D E flat F G Another way, which I find a little easier to work with, stretches the root to the third with just an extra pinky stretch. One, two, three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, eight. And there you have it, the G Mixolydian flat six. Let's go to the piano, because I want you to hear, because we've got some real interesting uh, seventh chords three of them out of this. Join me at the piano. This G Mixolydian flat six mode has three very interesting uh, seventh chords built right into the scale. And let's start with the first one, which is your standard G dominant seven. So you have your root, your third, your fifth, your flat seven. So you have G, B, D, F. Now your first inversion starts with the three, the B, B, D, F, G. Your second inversion starts on the five, D, F, G, B. And your third inversion starts on the flat seven, which is your F, G, B, D. Now the second version of this chord switches the B to a C, so you now have now you hear that sus4, it really wants to go back to that resolution now the first inversion of this would start on the C, the 4, so you have 4, 5 flat seven octave from there you go to the second inversion which starts on the five which is the d d f g c and you hear it again wants to resolve third inversion is the f which is your flat seven g and then the d's on top Now, the third possibility is this E flat. But in this case, we're not gonna look at it as a flat six, we're gonna look at it as a sharp five. So you have your root, your three, your sharp five, there's that augmented, flat seven. Root, three, sharp five, flat seven. First inversion is then three, sharp five, flat seven, octave. Second inversion is the sharp five, flat seven, octave, 10. And the third inversion is flat seven, octave 10, sharp five. So you see this Mixolydian flat six gives you some interesting possibilities. And the first one, of course, is that G dominant seven, which is the root three, five, and flat seven, G, B, D, F. In our first inversion, we go B, D, F, G, or three, 
5 flat 7 octave. The second inversion has us going to the D, which is your 5, F, which is your flat 7, 8, the octave, and the 10th, which is your third, the octave above. Lastly, we have the F, G, B, D, or flat 7 octave, 10, 12. Dominant in seven. The second chord form that we need to work with is the G sus. That would be G, C, D, F, G, or one, four, five, flat seven, octave. First inversion starts on the four, so you have C, D, F, G, or four, five, flat seven, eight, the octave. Second inversion starts on the five. You have D, F, G, C, or five, flat seven, eight, 11. Okay, third inversion starts on that flat seven F. F, G, C, D, flat seven, octave, 11, 12. The chord that goes along with this is great. It's the, so you have your G, but now you're going to raise that major 10th. Now remember on the piano I said that C really keeps you up in the air. Suspended, I guess that's why they call it a sus chord. Sus. This G augmented seventh chord poses an interesting problem. Let's take a look at that mixolydian flat six again, numerically, of course. One, two, three, good. Four, five, flat six, flat seven, octave. Now, I was saying that a G augmented seventh is one, three, sharp five, flat seven. One, three, that's not a sharp five. A D sharp would be a sharp five. So in other words, this flat six could also be thought of as a sharp five. So we go root three, sharp five, flat seven, octave. How's that? Three, sharp five, flat seven, octave, three. Flat seven, octave, three, interesting one. So we've got the root, flat seven, we had that four, but here we go. Pretty hard to deal with up there, right? But if I went G, sharp five, flat seven, this will resolve down to the five. prefer doing it one sharp five flat seven Let me show you. Ah, the dreaded power chord. That's a G, one and five, so G and a D, so. Roots you in that G tonality. Ah, but what have I done now? I 
sharp that five or flat at that six, depending on how you want to look at it. G and C, there's that sus chord. So we've got the augmented, sus, and just the root of the third. So. today I couldn't stop uh, in any event you do have Friday Saturday and Sunday to work on this so it gives you a few days Monday of course we'll deal with this on the six string bass I'm David Gross for the bass guitar channel have a great day have a great weekend and if you need anything you know how to get a hold of me www.thebassguitarchannel.com thanks have a good one bye bye now.